Hi, my name is Jill Rodriguez and the reason we're making this video today is to raise the awareness of my sister Amy Foster and the horrific accident that they suffered almost two weeks ago. Today is April 16, 2015 and almost two weeks ago my sister Amy and her husband Kevin and their beautiful six children Gunner, Louisa, Felicity, Addie, Callista, and Garrett were en route to my parents house here in West Virginia. They were coming from New York and it was Good Friday, April 3rd, 2015. They were coming for the holiday Easter weekend and the next day my sister Angie Hillegas and her husband and their six children were also coming to celebrate the holiday weekend. We had a fun weekend planned. Well, in the middle of the night, Kevin and Amy and their six children were only about eight miles from my parents' house when they got into a horrible car accident, making the vehicle tumble probably around six times. And later in this video, you will see pictures of their Suburban, and it was so crunched. When you look at that vehicle, you'll realize how thankful we are that all of them came away from the accident alive and that no one was killed. They had some scrapes and some bruises, but praise God they were all okay, except for my sister Amy. Her side of the vehicle was crushed the most, and unfortunately she suffered from a very severely broken neck. The doctor's original diagnosis of the situation was that she would probably be paralyzed from her shoulders down for the rest of her life and he said she only had a one percent chance of ever walking again of course the tears shed very easily we were all devastated over this news and my sister has been going through a tough two weeks it's been almost two weeks but you know we just want to thank all of those across the country for their prayers it has helped to sustain us and give us strength. The outpouring of love, prayers, cards, you know, care packages filled with toys and things for the children. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I know that Amy personally thanks you. She even wanted us to write a list of all that you have done so that she could write you thank you notes. But in her condition, we knew that would be very hard. So we assured her that we would personally thank you for all that you have done. So we put together this video so that you can enjoy just watching this journey with our family, little clips and videos and pictures of the past two weeks and how God has sustained us and given us strength. You know, when you're going through a hard time and times and moments where you question, why are we going through this trial? Jesus is the answer. He is the one that can give you the strength to get through it. And we have found that to be true. We cling to God's word, the Bible, and to prayer. And we're also strengthened by all of your prayers. So we just want to thank you today for watching this video. We hope that you're inspired to turn to Jesus through your trials. We know that Amy may never walk again, but we're praying for a miracle. Right now, Amy's had some <clears throat> tingling in her arms and hands, and we're really hoping that's a good sign that she will get at least the use of her hands back. So we keep praying for a miracle. We encourage you to please keep praying for a miracle. But we know that whatever the answer is that God gives us, whatever the final condition of Amy's broken body at this point is in the future, we'll trust that God's answer is the perfect one because we do not know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. We know that Amy loves the Lord and we know that she was a devoted wife and mother. She homeschooled her children and did a great job and so we trust that as she walks through this journey, this valley in her life, God will give her the strength to accept his perfect will. We love you, Amy, and we love you who are watching. We just pray that you'll be encouraged by this video. God bless you, and you have a great day.
I know you're going through the fire It's getting hard to stand the heat But even harder is the wondering Is God's hand still on me? It's lonely in the flames when you're counting days of pain But the potter knows the clay How much pressure it can take How many times around the wheel Till there's submission to His
want you to know that our church and me we're praying for you and your family we're rejoicing in the good progress I know it seems slow but God is moving you forward and he's going to sustain you and we're praying for you and we love you God bless you Amy I wanted to say that we're very sorry to hear about the trial that you're experiencing but we know that God has a purpose and God has a plan through this and he'll have provision for you and your family and I just want you to know we'll pray for God's grace and healing in your life, God's protection for your children. And we look forward to hearing how he receives glory through this time. And rest assured that God's people across the country are praying for you and asking him to use your testimony again and again for his honor and glory. Thank you for being faithful. All things work together for good to those This is Amy Foster, my very dear, dear sister, the one that's been going through so much after her horrible car accident on April 3rd. And Amy, I'm so glad you were willing to do this interview today. You're so precious, and I just thought you might want to say hi to all these viewers. She just said hello. Her trach in her throat keeps her from being able to have any 
um, air going by her voice box. So she's only able to mouth words to you, but I will interpret to you what she's trying to say. So the first question I'm going to ask Amy is, Amy, do you remember anything about the accident? Not really, she said. She doesn't remember anything, and the last couple of weeks have just been a kind of a blur, right, Amy? Um, has this been the hardest journey that you have ever gone through in your life, Amy? Yes. What are some of the things that you think have been the very hardest for you? She just said not being able to hold her babies. She misses her precious, precious six children, and her oldest is Gunner. He's eight and almost nine in May, and little Louisa is seven, right, Amy? And then Felicity, she's six, and then Addie, and she's four. She'll be five soon, right? Is it in May? And then... Callista's next and she'll be three in July, right? So she's about two and a half. And then little Garrett, which I'm sure has been very hard for you. He was your nine month old when it happened and now he's 10 months and he was nursing full time. So I'm sure you miss your little precious baby Garrett. But all of your children love you and they miss you so much, Amy. Is there anything else that's been extra hard for you during this time? So she's just saying even the smallest tasks like breathing and swallowing and moving are very, very difficult for her. And it can be uh, very frustrating. It can be very difficult when you're used to being so athletic. Amy was a very athletic person way back in elementary school when we went to Christian school, North Star Christian Academy. Amy was one of the most athletic um, children in her gym class. And so this has been really hard for her to be at the mercy of everybody else and um, when she gets up in the morning she's not able to just get out of bed and get on with her life right Amy she had mentioned that to me she feels trapped she's saying so it's definitely been very difficult but she's been a trooper and she's had such an awesome attitude through all of this um, Amy has there been anything that God has given you extra special to help you through this very, very difficult time? I know a lot of people are inspired by your story, and they just would love to know what you have fallen back on as a resource of your strength. She just said the first thing would be God's goodness. And boy, that's amazing. I just feel inspired by that myself because, I mean, all that Amy has gone through, and yet she still is proclaiming the goodness of God. And Amy, I love you, and I thank you for that testimony. Um, is there anything else that you want to share with others that you're just ex extremely thankful for during this hard time? She said she's thankful that the rest of her family is safe and healthy, that nothing happened to Kevin or happened to her children. She just said, and Kevin has been right by her side through it all, and she just feels so thankful that she has a husband here, that nothing happened to him, and that nothing happened to her children while She's been lying here helpless in this hospital bed. She's very thankful that her children were all okay and that myself and my, my sister Angie, which is her identical twin, um, and my mom, we've all just been able to pitch in and take care of their children. And my oldest four children, Nareed, Timothy, Kaylee, and Renee, they've all just pitched in. And Amy's very thankful that she knows that they're all okay and that she didn't need to be by their bedside as maybe they were perhaps suffering. So we're just, yes, definitely thankful for the goodness of God, especially when we look at how badly their suburban was damaged from the accident. 
Um, is there anything else, Amy, that you just want to, that you're extra thankful for during this hard time? She just said she just is so thankful for all the love and support of friends and family and the cards and the gift donations that people have sent and just the prayers. She said she's so thankful for all of that and all of your love and support has really been a bubble of protection and grace and mercy that has bubbled around especially Amy but all of the family here and Amy's just very thankful for all of that and I know that she really really wants to express that thanks to you she's wanted us to write thank you notes and <laughs> write down who's done what but it's an overwhelming task at this point so she just wants to verbally thank you so Amy um, is there a favorite scripture that you would like to share with people, a scripture that God comforts you with, especially during this hard time. She said, well, her favorite scripture in the Bible is Psalm 18, verses 1, 2, and 3, 1 through 3. And so I'm going to read those to you. I have the Bible open to that. And it says, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my God and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, and whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. And those are surely powerful scriptures, Amy, especially during this hard time. You have them highlighted in your Bible, and your Bible is a, is a precious uh, book to us right now. We love to look in it and see your little notes, and um, you're an inspiration to all of us, Amy. Are there any last thoughts that you would like to share with us? She just said that she just wants to say she thanks God for his faithfulness. And again, that's an inspiration because she, she could be complaining, but she doesn't. And she's just such a blessing to us all. So, Amy, we love you. I know you're exhausted. Um, it's a, you're breathing on your own right now through your trach. And, so, and you had therapy not too long ago and had to exercise and so I know you're exhausted so we'll let you go but I know that people will love hearing from you personally so do you want to show them how you can wave Amy can you wave goodbye good job you do it with your right arm I know your right arm is a little bit stronger good job Amy. that takes a lot of effort folks <laughs> So she's a trooper, though, and she said she's not giving up. So <laughs> she's going to just keep fighting and get as much of her movement back as possible. So I love you, Amy, and we'll, we'll see you later. Want to say bye to everyone? Bye.